Here we are, back in Exeter again, uh, back in another room. Uh, different pictures. I think that's the only way you can probably tell this is any different from any of the other rooms that I've been in over the last two weeks. So uh, final week, nearly done. Uh, I've been here for a couple of days now. Um, obviously the last video I fixed my bike because we went uh, into the forest and the, the bolt sheared off and I, I got that fixed. That was brilliant. I've been out on it again. Uh, got very wet and muddy. Got to the furthest point away from the car park and um, well there's the result so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you a bit of a video from my ride it, only a short bit because um, I know it can be quite boring just looking at somebody cycling around a forest um, but I want to show you some improvements uh, now it's not brilliant because it was chucking it down with rain so there's a bit of rain on the lens but um, I've done hopefully something to improve the video from last time because last time it was really juddery it was on my handlebars and you just uh, you couldn't really see what was going on. This time I bought a helmet mount. Uh, so my GoPro, which I'm obviously using at the moment, goes on top of the helmet and hopefully it gives it a bit more of a steady shot. Uh, so I'm hoping that I'm kind of bit by bit improving things for you, know, you guys to watch. Um, which will lead me on to what I want to talk about, which is um, Nissan and I think it's pronounced OVO, OVO. Uh, they're a um, utility company that have gone into partnership with Nissan and they're hopefully, or it looks like, they're going to be offering um, car-to-grid technology uh, when the new Nissan LEAF is released. So um, I want to talk about that in a bit, but uh, first of all, here's a, a bit of a video from my ride uh, just to show you, hopefully, how I've improved things a little bit. So just before I get ready to go to the gym, uh, just about enough time to talk to you about OVO. Now uh, OVO are a utility supply company, gas and electric, here in the UK um, and they've been really aggressive in the last few months at targeting EV drivers and trying to get them to sign up to their um, specific plans. Now they've had one running for a few months now with uh, a company called Polar. Polar uh, kind of work with uh, is it charge your car I think it is some rapid chargers they have all over the place and um, uh, seven kilowatt three kilowatt chargers they're all over the place um, they offer a couple of different um, ways of accessing them one through a subscription uh, monthly payment and the other is through an app pay as you go um, I subscribe monthly because uh, where I work there's charges there and I use them quite regularly um, now they're offering uh, one of their tariffs if you sign up to their electricity tariff then you get a free subscription to Polar, which is great. Now I priced it up and it was slightly more expensive than me buying my electricity elsewhere and paying my subscription to Polar. So it, it, there wasn't a lot in it to be honest, there was a couple of pounds. Um, I stuck with what I, what I have at the moment, um, but they're competitive, so that's good. They've now gone one step further and they're working with Nissan and in particular the new Nissan Leaf because uh, that new Nissan LEAF has vehicle to grid technology. Now, if you don't know what that is, it, in a nutshell, uh, when you plug your EV into the wall to charge up, it draws electricity into the battery and charges the battery. If you've got vehicle to grid technology in it, it will also allow a certain amount of the electricity to go back into the, um, into the grid. So uh, you can sell it back to the power companies. Um, now, this is good for us as EV owners because Generally, uh, it will set up with some hardware uh, and you set up how it all works that you draw the energy from the grid into your car overnight or when it's at its cheapest. And then when there's a really high demand, so when everybody comes home and plugs their cars in, turns the kettle on, puts the telly on, cooks dinner, etc. That's when you sell your electricity back to the grid when they pay a good good rate for it. So you can stand to make a little bit of money. It might cover some of your costs of running your car. Uh, and that's certainly how they're selling it. So uh, this will kick in in January, when hopefully around about the same time the new LEAF is available here in the UK. Uh, they haven't given really many prices from what I've seen, but 
hopefully it'll be competitive. And it'll be competitive because of this buying back tariff side of things. So that'll be really, really interesting. They've also announced that they're going to uh, provide batteries, batteries for your house to store electric in. The reason I find this interesting is because they're going to recycle old Nissan Leaf batteries. So uh, certainly the, the kind of the first generation ones, as they reach the end of their life for whatever reason, they're going to take the batteries out and put them into a unit that then goes on the wall in your house. So um, that I think is really, really interesting. It's a great way of recycling the batteries. And um, yeah, you know, I've said before, for me, the reason to own an EV isn't about being green and doing the right thing for the environment. That's a really nice bonus for me. Uh, for me, it's all about saving money. And uh, this would appear to be another great way for us EV owners to be saving money. Right, I need to get this bike downstairs in the car and um, get to the gym quickly. Thank goodness for hire cars. I don't think I would have got that in the back of my leaf just like that. Um, a few more bits would have had to come off. But uh, it's back in the car now, ready to go home, and um, I'll get it fixed when I go home. The end of the week is nearly here. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too bad, that video. I know it was still a bit juddery, and there's still things that I could do to it. Um, the angle of the camera wasn't great, uh, so I could improve on that. But my point is I'm learning all the time and I'm finding new ways of doing things that hopefully will make things better. The big one for me is uh, the camera that I use. Uh, I've been using a GoPro. There's no image stabilization on it. And quite often I, I don't even have it on a mount. I just hold it in my hand, which is great for getting in and out of my pocket to do things quickly. But I'm really conscious. And um, I've had a few comments now from subscribers saying that uh, the it, it kind of, it, it's not very still, it, it's not great. So um. A camera is the top of my list of things that I need to get to improve my vlogs. Uh, I know the camera that I want to get. Unfortunately, as with all these things, uh, it's not the cheapest. So bear with me. Uh, hopefully I can source one soon, uh, certainly within the next month or so. And um, hopefully that will just improve things and make things better for, for you. And hopefully a bit easier for me as well. there we go that was a brilliant gym session and um, once again it's just proved that wherever you go you see EVs everywhere and that kind of is a point in case as far as it's this new um, way of looking at obtaining and maintaining um, our electricity goes so yeah we need to look at the future we need to look at the best way of doing it and we need to look at a way of having sustainable electricity throughout the day and really meeting those peak time um, high demand uh, periods of the day and you know Ovo seem to be uh, kind of addressing that doing it in a way that we've been talking about for a while and we've just We've just not seen it here yet, but they seem to be really pushing ahead being, as I said before, really aggressive in their marketing. And um, for me, I hope it's, um, it's a great thing um, as far as the, the country's concerned with uh, maintaining the, the grid and the, sort of the rate of electricity that we get. But more importantly, I think it's going to save us money. I think it's just another example uh, of how owning an EV once you uh, set aside that upfront cost, which in comparison to ICE cars is coming down and down all the time, uh, actually there's so many ways you can save money. That's pretty much all for tonight. I, I'm going to get showered and changed and um, head off and get something to eat now. So um, if you've enjoyed today's vlog, uh, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And um, don't forget you can find me on Twitter and on uh, Instagram at BB Opinion. Uh, until next time, uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.